The Cliffs is one of the most beautiful golf communities in the United States. It consists of seven spectacular properties, each with a championship golf course, but it's about so much more than golf. So I thought I would take a little weekend trip to the Cliffs and explore all that there is to offer. And to help me out, I brought my friend Katie along. And Katie, we could not have come at a better time because the Cliffs is having their annual food and wine festival. And do you like good food? Oh yeah, and I can't wait to taste the great <laughs> wine pairings with all of the food. That's why you're my friend. Did I mention I love my job? <laughs> Come with us as we explore the cliffs. Well, this is a really unique event. I don't really see this in a lot of different places. I mean, I feel like a lot of Country clubs are, you know, their, their wine programs and their food programs are sort of secondary to the, you know, maybe the golf or the, the, the social aspect of, of the club. And it's not just about the golf. We're, we're enjoying the golf, but we're also enjoying this incredible food and wine festival for the first year. Um, I hope we could do this every year because uh, we, there's nothing we love more than getting together with people out on the porch out here and sampling great wine and food. The point of wine isn't the judging of it, the critique of it, which has sort of become you know, a cottage industry unto itself. It's really about making something that pairs well with the food that we eat. Wine is just meant to enhance the experience, both from a taste uh, perspective, but also from a social perspective, and that's historically what wine was there for. You know, wine is a food. It's part of the meal, and um, you know, as opposed to just a, another drink or another cocktail. Each wine has its own personality. Uh, each dish has its own personality, and it's a great way to make the wine uh, come together with the food. It's good living. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's, um, I think uh, it's a relaxed environment. Uh, people come out to play golf to relax. I think people go to have a good meal and have a glass of wine to enjoy themselves and relax. Slow life down, slow the pace of life down uh, without a marshal on your back. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, wine really fits into that. And that's, uh, that's why we make it. You put wine today, don't put it on a pedestal, put yeah. it, make it accessible. It's such a social, way of imbibing with friends and, and enjoying life. I'm always looking to progress my palate and to find out what that next uh, new territory of wine production is. And yeah, that's the great thing about wine. It's, it's not final. It's always growing. It's always accepting new, uh, new ideas and new ways to uh, um, promote its enjoyment. I think it's just raising a glass to the uh, quality of life. Nothing wrong with that. At that, let's raise a glass, John. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Charles.